Hi, I'm Andy Jimenez, and I'd like to talk about duplex and parallel transmission over multi-mode optical fiber technology. Optical fiber's ability to deliver increased bandwidth over longer distances compared to twisted pair and wireless media options make it an ideal choice for data center and building planners looking for a path to 10, 40, or 100 gigabit ethernet. There are two optical fiber types used in internetworking applications, multi-mode and single-mode fiber. The key difference is in the physical core sizes of the fiber. Laser-optimized multi-mode fiber utilizes a 50 micron core, whereas single-mode fiber is characterized by a smaller core size in the range of 8 to 10 micron. Multi-mode fiber typically serves as a cabling backbone in commercial buildings and data centers as it connects the aggregation network layer to the core and access layers. Single mode fiber is ideal for covering long distances in the order of kilometers between buildings or within the backbone of hyperscale data center environments. Multi-mode fiber is the more economical choice for most commercial buildings and smaller data centers. Multi-mode infrastructure has the advantage of utilizing lower cost, short wavelength optics operating at 850 nanometers which drives lower overall system costs compared to the more expensive single-mode optics, which use longer wavelength optics in the 1310 to 1550 nanometer range. Multi-mode fiber can support data rates in the range of 1 to 100 gigabits per second. Depending on the type of optical transceiver that is used, these data rates can be delivered via duplex or parallel transmission over multi-mode fiber. Duplex transmission has a single lane or serial architecture that can support data rates of 10 to 40 gigabits per second. A duplex architecture is desirable as it minimizes the number of fibers required to support the desired data rate. One fiber is used to transmit and the other to receive data. Parallel transmission utilizes multiple lanes that can support 40 to 100 gigabit per second data rates. However, parallel architectures require multiple fibers to transmit and receive data. In the case of 40 gigabit ethernet, many short wavelength parallel optical transceivers require four lanes using eight fibers. The early generation 100 gigabit short wavelength transceivers require 10 lanes or 20 fibers to operate, while parallel transmission provides an economical choice for high speed data center backbones. Careful planning is required due to the increased complexity associated with parallel versus duplex infrastructures. To learn more on this topic, read our tech brief on innovations in optical fiber technology and talk to your local Annexer representative.